All right, today we're working on some shop light. So I went to my local electric supplier. I was just gonna get some new ballasts and bulbs. And he talked me into going with these direct drive LED lights. And what's sort of amazing about that is it's cheaper. So at this electric supply, they wanted $18 per ballast. And these direct drive bulbs, if you can see that, is $9.40 each. So it's about the same price as just buying a new ballast for a fluorescent fixture. Not only that, but the instructions for running these is you delete the ballast. You can either wire them on just one side or across, or you have, have it all connected. So anyways, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's just get these old T12s out of here. Let's open this up. Boom. So the plug goes in to the this old light fixture and we have the black which is hot and the white which is neutral. And then those wires come down to the old ballast which I've already unbolted from the fixture. Very carefully we slice it free. <laughs> and then same on this side we've deleted the ballast all right so in in these fixtures you know there's there's red blue and yellow coming off of the ballast the the yellow is you know common you know neutral ground negative whatever and then the uh, red and blue are supply line hot uh positive so we just need to strip all these ends that I just cut off and we're gonna give it you know half an inch or so all right so on this red and blue side I'm gonna take all these wires I'm gonna combine them I'm gonna use pliers and give it a twist I'm gonna twist it all up nice and tight and put a wire tie wing nut whatever on it and that'll be the positive I'll do the same for the neutral so these you know insulating wire tie wing nuts <laughs> whatever they're called let's get a real name wing twist wire connector they come in different sizes right the red ones are real big yellow ones are medium and orange is small you know, these wires are tiny. The orange would work, but I only have this one. So that's gonna be the only one I use. I'm gonna use yellow for the other. But then you're ready to go. That, I mean, that's, that's all it takes to, to get ready for these direct drive units. Okay, so on these tubes, there's a line side that you can do the line in neutral. We have positive, negative, right? Or you can have both positive here. And the neutral negative over here on this side it says these are directional so you know one side has a sticker the other side doesn't so you want to pop these in where i guess light is shining down so one of my what what the uh, guy at the electric supply called a tombstone or as uh the receipt calls a fl fluorescent lamp holder by pin lp was broken so i bought a new one and they charged a dollar 13 for it it seems like a great price for saving the 25 dollars that they wanted for uh you know a, a whole new lamp fixture so you know the, the light bulbs are cheap the parts to fix them are cheap but their their fixtures are kind of on the pricey side i feel all right pull this off and then we'll wiggle this guy out So I guess, let's see if I can just yank these out. Oh God, they're really in there. So th those are those are solid. Let's just snip them. So we're gonna strip all these and then shove them in here. All right, see this? Just shove the wires in. It's like a finger trap for these wires. And then they're in there. And we can slide that right in place. I say that. 
All right, this one doesn't quite match. Or does it? Okay, this one needs a screw to hold it in place. Let me find, find a screw that fits that. Let's see if this little sheet metal screw will, will do it. Ooh, it's a little tight, but it'll do. Just slide that in. Screw it down. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. Even though I'm gonna have to take this cover off in order to uh, mount it, let's go ahead and put the the warning stickers on. It comes with these stickers. They say, "Warning: This luminary has been modified to operate with LED lamps. Do not attempt to install or operate fluorescent lamps in this uh, luminary." So I'm gonna clean this up so I can mount a sticker. I'm just gonna do it right here. Alright, so I'm going to write an L over here, I'm going to write an N over here. I guess it's not the best location. I could put it on the side or something, but whatever. And so the sticker's the same orientation as the, the, the line in neutral. I got line in neutral, so that way we know, we know how it goes. Well, let's test this real quick. So again, these, these bulbs have a neutral and a line side. Let's just go for it for now. Nice. So the benefit of the, the LED, of course, is it doesn't have to warm up and they last a whole lot longer. The, the, the T8s are pretty efficient. So you're probably only saving a, a watt or two, but uh, but, but these are just instant instant on. I went for the 4000K, you know, because cause the, uh, the 3500 is too yellow for me and the five is too white. And these just look, you know, I think, I think these are daylight. I don't know, but, but I like them. So that, you know, it's that simple to uh, convert a, a fixture, an old uh, fluorescent fixture into LED shop light or you know kitchen light you know whatever you want to do you, you just delete the ballast and you make note of, of uh, the line in neutral and I'm just gonna do this a few more times <laughs> I guess one more time and then uh, install these in my garage all right so these Keystone direct drive LED tube strip fixtures <laughs> they charge me $25 and 81 cents each 25.81 so that seems a bit high. Uh, <laughs> since a direct drive, there's no ballast. It costs the same as one with a ballast in it. So let's see if it's worth the value or not. I kind of don't see how. Wow. Okay. More or less identical to the ones that uh, that I got for free from my friend. So. That kind of sucks. Let's see. And they don't come with a power cord. So I'm gonna have to sort out a power cord. Yeah, now that's, uh, for that price, I'm gonna call this a rip off. <laughs> so they come with, with uh, the same little flimsy metal thing, maybe flimsier than, than the, uh, the ones I got for free. Two of these connections are dummies and the other two are, are the, uh, or the, the lines on one side and the neutrals on the other. Whatever. They're going to be installed. We have, have a line, a neutral, and no connection on the other end versus the conversion method. So spending 25 bucks on these is very frustrating. This, this should be like six or seven bucks. So I guess that's where, I don't know uh, if, if, if that's Keystone's fault or if this is uh, the electric supply's fault for overcharging for these. But, but whatever. These are, you know, super duper lightly constructed. I already bought them. I'm just going to roll with it. The deal is, Harbor Freight, I mean, the tubes are not as good. The light is not as high quality. But Harbor Freight, you can go there and for $20, you can get the fixture with the tubes uh, for $20. They got an online coupon. One of my buddies was putting shop light in his garage like what i'm doing and he he got his from harbor freight with the coupon twenty dollars 
flat. Yeah, this is this is uh, way overpriced. I, th I I do believe the light quality of these Keystone Direct Drive LED tubes is is better. So so I would rather spend the twenty dollars to convert an old fixture with these tubes than the twenty dollars for the the Harbor Freight style lighting because it's just it's just nowhere near as, as pleasant of a light to be under. If I wasn't a hoarder, <laughs> I'd have to buy some plugs, you know? Uh, luckily I have lots of options for plugging things in, but I think I will have to run to the store and buy a couple of these little uh, wire clamps to secure it, because that just seems like a, a good idea of a thing to do. This one, this cable, it goes to a, a old TV that broke. <laughs> this one, I don't know what this one came with, with, but it's very long, so I don't really need that one. This one's even longer. Uh, when my shop vac broke, I cut this off of it. But you know, you're gonna have to come up with, you know, for the way I'm gonna wire these. Uh, I have I, I set up plugs uh, up in the ceiling that are controlled by a switch, so I can just flip them all on. So. I'm gonna have to do that. Like I just can't believe that for twenty-five dollars it doesn't come with a cord. I was I was expecting what I thought for twenty-five bucks is that that they would be, you know, wired with a cord and have a plug on the other end where you could run them in a series of lights if you wanted. I really can't believe how bad of a value the Keystone Direct Drive LED tube st uh, strip fixtures are. I mean, what a joke. What a joke. I wonder if it's Keystone or if it's, if it's Lock Supply that is doing this. All right, so the shop lights are going in my garage because I got this one car garage in my 936 square foot house and it's my shop. It's a, it's a mess, but this little candle candelabra thing I, I installed it yesterday actually but it was like you know that's that's a light that was originally here uh, when I was redoing this garage because it was a really shitty conversion uh, I put three plugs in the wall and a switch so I can turn the shop lights on so this is the light that I had to work with and then now with four fixtures with two uh, direct drive LEDs each. Check this out. Boom! Holy crap! It's like daylight. <laughs> it's, it's nuts. The ceiling fan, I guess just make it a little bit of a blinky shadow. Which is not the best for filming, is it? Can you, can you see the blinky shadow on me? So I guess I might have to reconsider that. That's a bit of a distraction. <laughs> oh well. But but anyways, the idea is for these shop lights is first of all I want to be able to see really well. This is like daylight, but also I want to be able to film. And and so having four of them sort of strategically placed, minus the ceiling fan being a problem, uh, I was trying to make like a ring light. So when I'm working here. Maybe there wouldn't be, you know, shadows or something. And hopefully that'll give me some good work light. I'm not going to show you the floor because it's embarrassing. But let's say I was working on something and filming it real close. I think this is going to be amazing. That's very bright. <laughs> very, very bright. Maybe overkill even, but I'm happy with it. You know, I didn't. I, you know, I, I knew the fan was going to do something. I didn't realize the level of strobe that the fan would cause. Maybe different speeds would be better, higher or lower. I'll mess with that because you know this is an unair conditioned space. Working out here, having a fan is like really, really important. So, anyways, I uh, hope that was useful. This is my shop light video. If you could leave a thumbs up or something, that'd be appreciated. Uh, Y'all be good. Oh, 
almost forgot. So I was, I was at the store. So can you see these prices? So this is a four foot, you know, strip light, I guess is what they're calling it. One, one of these fixtures with a brand, this is brand new from Lowe's. So it's a four foot with two T8 bulb capability. It's one of these fixtures with a ballast, $27 from Lowe's, right? So paying $25 for these fixtures is outrageous. If they'll give you a ballast for, for just $2 more. And then uh, they had these fixtures with two LED lights in it. These are like the Utilitech or whatever brand. And you can see they're $27.98. And they come with the LEDs and chains and all sorts of stuff. And a pull cord. And they string together where they come with the wire and they, they you know, with the plug. And they have a... <laughs> Whatever. They, they come with the extension cord and the plug on the other end and the chains. They're only $28 or $27.99 or something. $98, right? So so that, that's a cheaper option than what this was. But I don't think the LEDs in these, I've seen these, I don't think they're as good as, as, as this brand that I bought for this project. So, so these are the Utilitech LED blah, 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 $27.98. And then I was looking at the replacement bulbs. So these are two packs. So you can get the, the T8 LED replacement pack, uh, two bulbs, $19. But these, uh, they run off of a ballast, right? They're just direct replacements without, without cutting the ballast. They're not direct drive. They run off the ballast. And, and then for uh, you know, $2 more, you can get one that can switch the 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 light characteristic and let me zoom in here so this one it'll do the uh 6500 the 5000 and the 4000k so i mean there's there's lots of ways to do this but you know i i did it the way i did it i, I feel like the direct drive buying light bulbs from a you know electric supplier might be better i don't know because because if you had your leds being powered off of a ballast then you still have to be doing ballast maintenance without the the ballast the the fluorescent ballast you can just you know replace the bulb i think long term these will be better uh the 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 supply the electric supply that i bought it from they're like yeah we've had these bulbs in above us you know running all day every day for two years and they haven't changed in brightness at all. And they're, you know, they're $10 each, you know, regular price. I, I don't get a, you know, electrician's discount or any wholesale discount. So take it for what it's worth. Anyways, now, okay. I hope that was useful. Y'all be good. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you can, if you like the video at least, because that really helps me a bunch. All right. Take it easy. I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.